What is up, my friends? We are back for another Wednesday comic book haul, this time for Wednesday, December 5th, 2018. Hashtag, what a light week. <laughs> I really wish I had someone traveling with me today at my comic shops to kind of rein me in. Things got out of control really quickly, but um, that's part of the fun. So the last few weeks have been pretty light for me, so... Uh, I'm definitely making up for it this week, so sit back, relax, enjoy, and uh, just have a good time. Uh, I'm a little later at filming this than I would have liked to have been, but uh, you can thank Netflix for that. I got caught up watching American Horror Story. I started it about two days ago, and I had four episodes left to watch, and I had to you know, run through all those tonight before I um, made my way to reading and then filming this, so... Sometimes that's just how it is. If you're watching anything cool on Netflix, let me know what you're watching. Um, I really love hearing from everyone out there. So if this is your first time coming through the channel, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you hanging out with me, giving the channel a shot. Um, <laughs> hopefully you see some books that you like or you enjoy the vibe of the video overall. And if you do, please be sure to give the video a like, share with your friends, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Love hearing from people, so don't be shy. Current subscribers, you continue to rock. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your kindness. I appreciate each and every one of you. Yes, you too. So before I get into this week's haul, um, during my travels today, I went to Second and Charles in my area, and I was able to, or I finally pulled the trigger on some pops that I've been wanting for a while to complete, you know, a set, small set. <laughs> so one of, one of the ones I picked up was Norbert. From Angry Beavers. I have Daggett. Ha I have had Daggett for a while. And I've just been passing up on Norbert for a while. So I finally decided to pull the trigger today. I figured since I was spending a little bit more than I wanted to anyway. I might as well go the extra mile. And get a pop or two. So Nickelodeon Baby through and through. Had to grab that. I also grabbed Late Great Prince. Thought this pop was really cool. I have a Jimi Hendrix pop at my job on my desk, and uh, I thought this would be a really cool addition to put next to Jimmy. So I don't have a, a bunch of pops like I've seen from people on YouTube, but um, I have a fair amount. <laughs> and uh, it's always growing. That collection is getting bigger and bigger fast. So there's that. Just something cool I thought I'd share with everyone. So now we can get into this week's haul, and we can start off with the amazing Frank Cho. So I'm always grabbing these Frank Cho Harley Quinn covers. This is Harley Quinn, issue number 55. I have not read a single copy. <laughs> this story might be fantastic, and I'll, I will never know, or I don't know, as of right now. Um, there may come a time where I decide to read them, but as of right now, I just grab them for the artwork. So this is a great seasonal cover. Um, really, really great artwork, as you would expect from Frank Cho. He's been crushing this Harley Quinn uh, series of covers so beautiful adventures adventures of the super sons the dissection of a super boy this was a really cool time i'm having a great time reading the super sons um, even since the last run so this this run has been great as well um, really really digging it 12 issue maxi series had to read this one tonight um, love this title. Love the artwork, love the story. Can't say enough good things about it. If you're looking for something new to add to your pull list, you could do a lot worse than Super Sons. Doomsday Clock. Issue number 8 is out today. 8 of 12. This is the B cover. Uh, I passed on the A cover. I just like the B cover. Uh, a little bit more, so I didn't see a need to get both. And I'm not reading these until issue number 12 comes out, and I'll just read from three on, um, just finish them all at one time. Deathstroke, issue number 38. Matina cover, beautiful, beautiful cover. Love the coloring on this, love the artwork. Um, I'm not passing up on any of these covers that he's doing for Deathstroke. I have them all, and I love them all. Some I have multiples of. <laughs> uh, 
Another Matina cover, The Green Lantern, issue number two. This is the B cover. Fantastic cover. This is one I forgot I ordered. Um, I saw it perusing my uh, local comic shops app, the Comic Hub, I want to say. That's what it's called, Comic Hub. And uh, made sure to add it to my cart. So I was pleasantly surprised when I realized I had ordered it today. Great cover in great condition. Red Hood Outlaw, issue number 29. This is the Yasmin Putri variant. Very nice cover. She's doing a great job. Um, I did not see any of the Nightwing covers that she did this week, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it Saturday. So can't wait to grab that. And again, this is another uh, storyline I don't read, but I just pick up for the really good artwork. Joshua Middleton, B cover of Martian Manhunter, issue number one. Really, really nice cover. I didn't see many of these, so I made sure to grab at least one. Maybe there were four available, um, but there were many uh, uh, A covers available. So I just passed on the A cover. I really like the B cover. I uh, can't go wrong with Joshua Middleton. Shazam! Issue number one by Gary Frank. This is the B cover by Gary Frank. Amazing, amazing cover. I really prefer this one over the A cover. I may get the A cover at some point, but I just had to have this one. Um, I'm, there may have been four issues available, including this one. So there weren't many in my area. So I'm really happy to have secured my copy. And lastly, for DC, DC Vertigo, Border Town, issue number four. I read issue number three a few minutes ago. Really enjoyed it. I had to catch up, so I made sure to read issue number three. Um, and I'll read issue number four, if not tonight, tomorrow. I'm having a really good time reading this story. It's uh, It's been an interesting <laughs> read thus far, so... Really cool co uh, comic and really cool storyline that I was excited about. I read up on it maybe maybe two weeks ago, and I didn't re realize it was coming out so soon. So I was happy to see it on the shelf, and that is Wizard Beach. And this is issue number one of five, and this is the A cover. So this was really cool. The description read as follows, which made me want to grab this. Uh, when Hexley daggered Ragbottom sets off to find his uncle Salazar. He expects to find the most powerful wizard of the modern age. Instead, he finds Uncle Sally only wants to kick back, relax, and stay clear of any wizard politics. So how is, this, so how is Hex supposed to become a great wizard uh, if all <laughs> the adults are too lazy to teach him? So I thought that was a really cool concept. And Uncle Sally's just kicking back. He doesn't want to have anything to do with being a wizard. So I think that's really cool. I think this will be a fun read. Can't wait to dive into it. Another one, another number one. This is LaGuardia. I believe that's how you say that. A very modern story of immigration. I have two covers or two copies um, by mistake. <laughs> I forgot I grabbed it at one shop. I do that from time to time. Uh, and talking and chatting with the store owners and other customers and things like that. I kind of forget what I buy sometimes, and I don't want to miss it, so I make sure to grab it. So, LaGuardia, issue number one. Can't wait to read it. Uh, here we have issue 186 by Bill Sienkiewicz. Uh, this is Negan. Loving these covers. These character covers have been great. I think I've missed I missed the last one, but I'm sure I can pick it up. They don't seem to be flying off the shelves at this point. So I'm sure I'll be able to swoop back down on it. But here we have Negan. Uh, one of my favorites. I had this was my first read of the night. Bully Wars, 
issue number four. Scotty Young does it again. The, this story continues to be fantastic. The artwork, the coloring. This is a great time. Um, I can't say it enough, stress it enough. If you're not reading this one, give it a shot. Check it out. Um, you surely won't be disappointed, especially if you're a Scotty Young fan. You should, you should know that he does fantastic work. Uh, so it's a great time. I will continue to read this one. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, uh, at Grab Those Keys, I make sure to post um, about things that I'm reading and give a little detail about why why I like what it is that I like. So follow me there to stay up to date on what I'm reading if you're interested in that sort of thing. And I love hearing about what you're reading, so it works both ways. Next up, Unnatural. Issue number five, had to dive into this one today. It was a great read. The story continues to be awesome. I can never pass up on Unnatural. So if you're not reading this one, be sure to check it out. I'm sure you would like it if you gave it a shot. Great artwork, great coloring. Story is fantastic. Um, everyone who seems to dive into it seems to enjoy it that I come across. I don't hear any bad things about Unnatural. Crowded, issue number five. Fantastic artwork on this A cover, as well as the B cover. Loving this story. Loving this story. Really, really great time. Another number one for this week, Prodigy. Mark Miller, Raphael Albuquerque. That's the A cover, and I believe this is the F cover, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me, though. Cool artwork there. Haven't read this one. Haven't even read the description about this one, but just decided to grab it. Like I said in the beginning, I was on a roll today. <laughs> Since no one was around to stop me, I grabbed everything. Another number one. This is the B cover for Die. I've seen this cover a lot on the internet. It makes me believe that people were really excited about at least this cover, if not the story entirely. But I've definitely seen this cover a lot. So can't wait to read this one. This will be one of my early weekend reads. And uh, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I hope to enjoy it. If you've read it already or read it by the time you see this video, let me know what you thought. Another number one, self-made. That's the A cover. Been looking forward to this story for some time now, so I'm really glad that it's finally out. Cannot wait to uh, read this one as well. Self-made, issue number one, the A cover. And uh, yet another number one. <laughs> the Freeze. Awesome cover. This cover just intrigues me. I have no idea what this story is about. But um, I'm definitely going to be reading it uh, soon, if not tonight, tomorrow. The Freeze, the A cover. One of my favorite titles right now, Blackbird. Here we have the A cover. Followed by the really cool B cover. Following that, we have the C cover. All of those look really good, and they're all in really, really, really great condition. So I got lucky with those. On to the wonderful world of Marvel. Infinity Warps, issue number two. If you like first appearances, Infinity Warps has been full of first appearances. And this is no exception. So grab this issue if that's your thing. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure who we're introducing in this one, but I have been hearing that there is at least one, but I'm sure there are more um, in this issue. So grab it if that's your thing. The only one of these I've read so far was Arachnite, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Superman, Superman, Spider-Man, and Moon Knight mashup. Fantastic read. Great story. 
The best defense. It's number one variant C cover. Namor, I believe is how you say that. I may be wrong. I don't think I've heard of this character before. Namor. And that cover is by one of my favorite artists, Marco Cicchetto. So, couldn't pass up on that. And it, it's a stunning cover. Uh, Winter Soldier, number one. The C cover. Another cover by uh, Bill Sienkiewicz. Fantastic artwork. I wasn't letting this one slip past me. Only copy that I saw today. I had to have it. Doctor Strange. Fantastic Four Villains variant. Really love this copy. Just happened upon this today. Um, thumbing through the Doctor Strange books and found this. And this is the B cover. So, really happy to have that. Doctor Strange, issue number nine. The Immortal Hulk, issue number 10. Alex Ross cover. I believe there's something going on in this one. So, grab it if you can. If you see it, make sure to snatch it up. And I also have another Fantastic Four Villains variant. This time for the Immortal Hulk, issue number 10. This is the B cover. And also, we have the C cover. And the C cover is by Joe Bennett. X-Men, The Exterminated. Another Fantastic Four Villains variant. That's the B cover. And we have the C cover by Carrie Andrews. Awesome cover. That looks really cool. Venom number nine was released today. Here's the A cover by Ryan Stegman. Beautiful cover. Really, really like this one. And another Fantastic Four Villains variant. That's also by Bill Sienkiewicz. He's pretty popular this week. <laughs> A busy man. And last for Venom, we have the Animated Incentive variant. Really, really dope cover. I didn't see many of this cover or this cover. I only saw one of each, and I snatched them, so... Not to say people didn't have them in their pull list, but I didn't see many on the shelves. So, Spider Geddon, your official guide to the Spider Event of 2018 handbook. This is pretty cool with the breakout star of the hit game Marvel Spider Man. Really cool cover. Had to grab it. It's got my buddy Miles on the front, Peter Parker. I had to buy it. And we can end this off with two holiday themed covers. First of which is the Merry X-Men Holiday Special. This is the A cover. Really cool from what I'm hearing. Um, there are a lot of different, or there are a few different stories within this issue of uh, one of which being Rogue and Gambit's first Christmas as a married couple. <laughs> so that's pretty cool and I just thought this cover was really was really dope and it's very very clean last but definitely not least we have Deadpool issue number seven the D cover how could I pass that one up I couldn't I seen it yesterday one of my shops posted a picture of it I hadn't seen it prior to and I was hoping that one was would still be available today. And lo and behold, there were two available, and I only grabbed one. So, leaving that extra one there for some lucky customer. So, there you have it, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me, as always. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you saw some books that you liked. And if you did, please be sure to give the video a like. Um, 
Make sure to comment, chat with me. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you missed out on this week. Uh, and if you did miss out on anything, I hope you get it really soon and for a great price. And with that being said, my friends, get back out there and grab those